what's up y'all how y'all doing today it's your crochet and i'm back with another freaking house tour y'all so um i'm about to search through this house um i don't even know where it's at let me see where it's at first y'all know i get to click 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 i get excited um so this house is actually in georgia so we're about to go to this house in georgia let's do this y'all uh blue so this house is actually under a million, barely under a million though. It's 990,000, 10 bedrooms, 7.5 bath, 10,000 square feet on six acres, seven acres pretty much. 6.9, seven acres. So I mainly chose this house for the simple fact, I'm like, I can get my animals here. I can get my animals here. Uh, so it does look flat, it is giving a flat house, um, but boom, wait, no, cause boom, that look like two stories in the back. Like a flat house in the front and a two story from the back. Oh, I'm trying to make it fast. I'm trying to make it fast. Uh, move out the way. Move out the way. Okay. Now let's get up into this. Okay. So when you walk in, I hope this is not what you see is okay. That's, that's the front door. That's the front door. Only thing that I'll probably change that light fixture, then here goes the dining, and then this is supposed to be an office. I am going to count, let me see, is there a closet in here? Boom, well, there is a closet. So I am gonna count that as bedroom number one, but it does say 10 bedrooms. So even if the office is considered a bedroom, y'all, I still have nine other rooms in this house, okay? So I can most definitely keep that office and keep it all, boop, in a whole other area, okay? So I'm trying to figure out where I'm walking. I do like how it's hardwood throughout. I absolutely love that. Okay, I thought it was a flat house. At first I was like, eh, you know how I am about a flat house. Here goes another room. They made it into an office. I do see a ceiling fan. It's a, it's a nice size room. It could be a decent size room. Now let's go down this hall. Bathroom. Okay, it does have a tub. And I love how it has that tub. That makes me more excited for the master because if you see a tub like that, in just a regular, regular like hallway, y'all know the master has to be fire. That's just in my head. Master has to be fire. Room is a decent size. It looks like there's a closet right there. I'm trying to see. Okay, the bed could be like a little full size bed. I don't think it's a queen. I think it's like a full size with the boat. It does have a ceiling fan. So it does give me everything that I want and need in the room. So there's two rooms right here. Okay, so now we can leave this hallway. Can I go this way? Oh, where am I at, where am I at? Okay, now I can go this way. All right. <clears throat> okay, oh, boop, found the staircase. I'm not gonna try to go down there as of yet, should I? No. I don't go down there yet. I want to see what's exactly on this floor first before I do anything else. Was that stairs? We gonna come back to that, y'all, cause that look like stairs real quick. Okay, um, here go a bedroom right here. This is room number three. I'm just gonna try to count. This is room number three. I probably put like a little tally here. Um, okay, it's given. Uh oh. It does say primary. Okay, it does have a nice size closet. It's just not big. I thought it'd be like, I thought it'd be huge, no lie. I did. Um, I do like the ceiling fan though. I still do like how it has hardwood. The shower is not my kind of shower, no lie. It does have a beautiful tub. Um, oh, the toilet a little different. It's like hooked into the wall. <laughs> I've never seen a shower like that before. Uh, not a shower. I've never seen a tub like that before. Like that's, I wonder if all the other ones, I didn't really pay attention. All the other toilets are like that. That, that to me, I feel like it's a little scary. <laughs> I'll be a little nervous. Like what if you're a little heavy set? You know what I'm saying? What if you're a little thicker than others? You don't just trust putting all your weight down like that. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of, mm, it's kind of, you know what? Here goes the uh, the living room, it has another ceiling fan, love that. Go outside, I'm not trying to look outside yet. Boop, here we're, we are in the kitchen. I think that is a double oven, y'all know me and I love me a double oven. Or oh, is that a microwave? 
I, I think that's a microwave or something over there. Maybe that's an air fryer. I really want a double oven, y'all. If the house don't give me a double oven, I just need it, okay? Even though I have one here and I barely use my one. And that's the reason why I barely use my one whenever I have. Oh, it's an elevator in this house. Okay. I see you. Um, When I do cook in the oven, y'all, I get frustrated because, like, just cooking things at different times. I hate that. I hate cooking things at different times. And then one thing gets cool. I mean, one thing, you know, start cooling down and the other one is barely going in and stuff like that. I hate it. I hate it. So I just choose to fry everything or put it on the grill at the end of the day. I, I, I It just bothers me. So I definitely need one. So here goes the pantry. See how big this pantry is. That pantry is a pantry. That's, it's already, it's giving way more than me. Way more than what I got. And literally, I swear, all the little, all the little, Cans and stuff. I'm like, that's the same cans I got. Shoot, we eat the same stuff. I see y'all. So, wait a minute. We are in like a whole nother location. This looks like it could be to the garage or something. Yeah, it says garage. And then what's this way? Oh, another bathroom. Okay, nice bathroom. I like how that door looks like it goes outside. So, any outside entertainment can come inside and use this restroom right here. Again, the toilet is like a floating toilet. So, it kind of just like, Makes me feel a little nervous, y'all. It makes me feel a little, hmm. Can I trust it? I'm not the skinniest. I, I'm trying to get back there. Uh-oh, I didn't press something. Oh, it doesn't start me all over? Okay, let me go ahead and click on 3D. Let's see if I can quickly get back to that location I was just at. Because why, why would you do me like that? Okay, let's try to... Hurry up, let's go this way, this way, over here, nope, this way, this way. I was past the kitchen, yep, here we go. Cause like, it, like it's like the house ends right there. And then I feel like another house kind of begins because it's a bathroom and then it's a way to the garage. And then boom, Mo another bathroom. What is this, another washer dryer? Another washer dryer. Okay. Let's turn around, go back. And then, okay, this bathroom. Uh, the, I love how the bathroom is given tubs. I just don't too much care for the master. I didn't feel like the master was mastering. I feel like the master looked just like the other bedrooms. And you tell me I'm paying the mortgage? Me? Like we paying the mortgage and we share in the same room, our kids do, our kids pay for nothing? I don't, that don't sit well with me. That don't sit well with me at all. Here goes another room, still a fan, giving space, it's connected to the bathroom. Here goes that beautiful other living room. So, okay. It just seems like it's multiple, like I swear, it just feels like it was, um, a house and they added another house and just opened some doors okay because if there's another kitchen over here i tell you that's just exactly what they did they added two houses together okay come out of here so okay there's a bedroom over there and a bedroom over here book kitchen i swear look, they just added two houses together they put another dining here here with another room right here um, i'm not sure if that's a bedroom or what just looking around to make sure I didn't forget nothing. Go in here. Oh, it says it says loft. It's a loft area. Okay. This one is more directed to outside. You can see how every it's, it's completely outside. Well, it looks like it because there's a whole bunch of windows, a whole bunch of doors. Um, I feel like is that another pantry? For this to have multiple, like properties i feel like it would be something that i still would kind of want you know what i'm saying because i feel like it could be like a vacation house now i forgot exactly where the heck this is i'm about to look again but you can't tell me uh oh what did i do what did i do i was about to say you can't tell me like me my mom and stuff can't come out there for whatever's out there you know they have a sea world or a disneyland or anything like that go out there yeah we'll go back let's go back because that was kind of weird um and we stay in the property like our property but it's like half this house half that house half this house i can't wait you know what let's just go down the stairs 
I want to go down these stairs because the house was, I felt like I was at the end of the, the house anyways. It just felt like it was two different type of living spaces. You know what I'm saying? And this one's another living space. Okay. But for me, if I have a basement that's literally can go to the backyard, I am decking that out to be strictly party play area okay so yes it will be a living room in there but it will also be a bunch of furniture not a bunch of furniture like a bunch of tvs a bunch of games pool tables here goes a bathroom literally all the bathrooms are like the same i like it but it don't make me feel special as a master i don't i want to feel special i want to make it i want to be in a house where my room makes sense like you could tell i'm the one in here paying these bills you can't i feel like if we all have the same exact room y'all to me that's to me that's not fair like giving my kids the same luxury like i want to give them the, the luxury but i feel like i should get extra benefits you know because i'm the one paying the bills y'all don't feel like that or do you feel like okay well if that's the case any any house you move into give your kids your master you get they wrong. No, like you already know it. You already know it. It's this. It's kind of jumping everywhere. I feel like I'm supposed to see more. Let's go back over here. Some of these things are closed off with these these like shower curtains, but you can tell behind it it still had room. Okay, because what is going on? It's just jumping everywhere. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get back. Like that shower curtain don't really have, it don't show us back there. This one shows a bunch of stuff back there. There show, it shows two of them over here. Um, like, I don't know what they're doing with this area. I feel like I could, I do see a bunch of rooms I can make out of it. Um, I see a lot of space. I do see a lot of space in this house. Um, the only thing though, it has not really caught my eye. It's giving gorgeous, it's giving big, but it's not giving my type of style. Um, only thing I'm thinking about is literally, literally getting it and trying to make it like an Airbnb or completely, because it does like separate living spaces, you know what I'm saying? Or completely rent it out, like lock the door up there. That's one, um, one like apartment complex. And then, wait, you, let's go upstairs. I even, I forgot there's upstairs. This house is confusing me. It's confusing me. And here goes more living rooms. I know I, I'm not about to knock a living room. I love me a living room. I love me a space. This house is giving a lot of space. It's giving me so much space. I don't know what to do with it. That's another reason why I really feel like 8,000 square feet is like the max for me. It's right here is storage. But if I, it looked like downstairs is storage. They got a lot of storage in this house. A lot of storage. I feel like this would be the perfect thing for people with a bunch of kids. Or if you have like a foster, if you're like a foster parent with a bunch of kids or anything like that, I feel like this will work 100%. Either that or literally, like I said, what I would do, let me turn it around. What I would do is I would close all these spaces off. There'd be the main space, which this one looks like it's connected to, you know, the main space of the house. Um, so this would be a part of the first house. Then that second house is on the side. Then third house downstairs in the basement. I would completely separate it up, shut doors, completely lock them and rent out each space. That's what I would do and get my monies. I'll get my monies. I'll turn this into like almost an apartment complex. It makes my sh money, honey. That's what I would do. Okay, this room is nice. This room looks bigger than the master. Shoot. Okay, over here. Let's look at the bathroom. Okay. I said this bathroom is given. This going to be the master. This going to be the master. Because this, I'm telling you, that looks bigger. That looks bigger. I mean, I can see possibilities as well. Just because I've seen so many other houses. And honestly, I could make that upstairs. When I say I can make the upstairs strictly crazy and make that strictly just like master area, make a master room out of it, make our um, gym, 
make a good little sitting area. Dad gets his like little man cave. I get my little, well, I, I would say I get my office, but there's an office downstairs. So I really don't need that. I would completely deck upstairs if I was to live there. And then I would have all the other spaces and I would still keep that one space to the side and for like family and stuff like that. Whoever wants to come over, they can have their own space. It keeps kicking me out. I'm trying to look at the backyard. Come on now. Um, I'm trying to go fast because it keeps kicking me out for some reason. Uh, but yeah, those are the two options. I would either separate it all and make like apartments. Unit A, unit B, unit C. And if not, I would literally just completely renovate that whole top floor and make that a straight master spot, master, gym, um, man cave. Like, come on now. I'll make that everything. Make it everything. Come on now, how, how am I gonna do this? I'm trying to figure out how to get to the backyard. It's not showing the backyard. Maybe I could hit on the exterior, let me see. I don't want to do it like this again. Hold on, wait. Okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. So it does have a pool in the backyard. Um, and it looks like they have a shed as well. And it did, it did say it was on pretty much seven acres. So I feel like it does give me space for my land. So that's the only thing now I'm back, now I'm back thinking. Maybe this could be my house. I just got to fix it up the way that I want to. Because it is giving acres. It is giving under a milli okay and it is a 10 bedroom like how do you walk away from something like that how do you walk away from something like that i didn't know what to rate it because at first like i really wasn't feeling it but then i was feeling it for like income purposes <laughs> but then i don't know it's like i like it but then i don't like it for me like i love i love houses i love all houses I love I could search a studio right now. No bedrooms. What a studio. I'm in love. Um I don't know what to rate it because I really I it didn't it didn't really hit me. You know what I'm saying? It didn't like, oh yeah, I really, really like that. It didn't it didn't do that. Um Does it give me everything I need? Yes. It gives me everything I need. I need my animals. I need space. And it's under a milli. Compared to everything else I've seen, I've seen some beautiful, 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 beautiful things. And it's missing stuff. It's missing everything. So just from a standpoint of just me thinking, if I didn't see what the house was and somebody told me, okay, I'll get you a 10 bedroom on seven acres. What would you do? I would, I would 100% just think to jump and choose that one versus the two million, three, four, five million dollar houses that I've seen earlier. So I would rate it. I want to rate it a eight. I really was thinking like a seven, but I, I just because I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling. I don't know. Maybe I just gotta go in and update it, or maybe it's just the furniture. Maybe because I just, I'm not seeing it. Usually once I see furniture in it, I'm, I could see it. You know what I'm saying? But I've been looking at a lot of like modern day new type of things. And I think that's why it's dragging me in versus, you know, I feel like this is just past, you know, like older, older type stuff. So it's like, it's not really bringing me in like it's supposed to. You know how you tore an old home. You're like, oh, my grandma had that. <laughs> like, it's cute. I like it, but I will update it more. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. I like it, but I just want to give it an eight. I just really want to give it an eight. Um, but it's giving me almost everything that I asked for. I'm not feeling that master though. I think that's another thing that's getting me. Sometimes a master alone could get me. A master alone could get me. Um, that's why I just said if I was to get it, I'll probably just take over that whole upstairs and when I say completely renovate it out and make that a master retreat, I would do that and then I'll be a hundred percent in love. Um, but at this point, I, I, I'm not in I'm not in love. I like it. I like it. Ooh. That's gonna end this video here. Catch you next to see you later. Bye.